He seems to be. Uh, looks like there's media up there. That's why there is a big deal. This was a media event. That's why it took so long. Here's the uh, management team leaving. This is Jake Rusin, a bullhorn specialist, really. Mark, if I felt I could be heard in the typical fashion, so, I would not be here on the sidewalk. I'm going to have you take a look here at all the stuff. This was a media event, which is why it took so much longer than usual and why there was so much of a show of force, even though there was nothing to take. Uh, nothing for these huge dump trucks uh, to take. This is what's being used against the houseless and peaceful pro political protesters. People are leaving now because there's nothing to seize, but I'm walking here to give you an idea of the extent of the... Uh, there's a garbage truck uh, leaving. Um, and this is usually filled up with whatever they can throw in there. They usually go to the houseless encampment next door on Victoria Street, we're kind of on the Victoria Street side. I've seen them take, uh, I've seen them take, and I have much video of them taking uh, clothing, dwelling, food, you know. You can see this backhoe that is often used. I'm gonna, as we uh, saw, there was a, um, of course because it was a media event. I'll get the media guys see they don't have portable stuff so they can't get really on top of things. You can see here a uh, backhoe. I'll just stay here as we get a look of, at uh, what's coming out here. We're at Thomas Square, if you just joined us, where there was a very ineffectual seizure attempt on Deoxify Honolulu. Uh, it was a media event, which is why they brought so much equipment here, as we're seeing now. Empty trucks. Called the media. I don't know why they they should have known there was nothing eligible for seizure. This is a taxpayers' dollars at work. Easy gig today. Now here's the truck with the crane and some garbage bins in it. Most of the stuff is supposed to go into these bins because these are the bins that get um, stored, taken to storage, and you can see they're actually borrowed from the roads department. Um, and then they're taken up to a depot where people, where it's kept for 30 days. Um, subject to uh, people claiming them. On the other hand, you know, your tent gets taken and it's lucky enough not to end up in the garbage and goes into a storage bin. You need a credit card receipt in order to uh, fetch the tent. And even folded tents are not allowed on the bus, so you're going to have to find somebody to drive you. Make an appointment, drive there. Still have a 
police presence even after most of the hardware's hard, uh, the um, heavy equipment's gone.